Okay, we're ready to go on our field trip. We will meet Amy, the owner of the restaurant, we will be creating a website for, get a sense of what she wants on a website, and maybe even get lucky and interview some customers to get a unique customer perspective about the restaurant. Let's go. When you get right down to it, this meeting is all about setting expectations. Whether it's expectations about what the client is expecting from us or our expectations of what the client is gonna provide. So if we can achieve that of communicating those expectations very clearly, we've done our job. Seriously, how many computer science courses do you have that take you on a field trip, huh? Taking your job, Guy Fieri. I come to this restaurant very often, usually about once a month or twice a month. I would, I would come here once a month with my wife. I always enjoy the atmosphere and I enjoy the service. Well, I like the fact that it's kosher and the fact that the food is very good all the time and consistently good. So that's why I like to come to this restaurant. You know, me pers personally, I always eat sesame chicken and that's my favorite dish. And I can also, when I don't finish, which is ample portions, I can take home. It tastes good. <laughs> I mean, that's why I like it. It's the type of thing which I expect a, a good Chinese dish to have. Uh, I love the chicken itself. I just love the way it's made. I enjoy it. Yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, Johns Hopkins Whiting School of Engineering? Of course. You think it's a good school? It's absolutely a good school. The food is exceptional, and I know it's zag they get rated, so um, I can always trust that the food is going to be fresh and you know ready to eat, and I, I always enjoy it. Joseph Rosenblatt, class of... Uh, 1964, Hopkins. Oh, so you actually went to Hopkins? Yep. Hello. Hi. Ready for our meeting? Sure. Yes. So if you had to, you know, do a little self-criticism, is there anything about the restaurant you would, uh, you would want to improve? Yes, to get a better website. Get a better website. That's a very good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what I did was I prepared a few websites for you to look at. Um, and what I want you to do is I pulled them up on this iPad here. What I want you to do is take a look at them and let me know. These are all sites of Chinese restaurants. Mm -hmm. And take a look and see if you like any of them. And, you know, if you want your website to be, you know, kind of similar or something something like that sure. and you could you know you could scroll back and forth over here and take a look and if you do like it like what do you what do you like about it what what appeals to you about that website or what doesn't what do you not want it on that website what do you like about it the colors you like the yeah. colors mm -hmm. you like the colors very clear you know it's you like the fact that it's clean it's looking mm -hmm. very looking very clean okay yeah okay and the uh, item are very very user-friendly. User-friendly, looks very user-friendly to you? Okay, mm -hmm. so this site user looks very user-friendly to you, okay. Yeah. And it looks clean and... Very practical. Very practical, okay. Very good, very good. So you like, this is what the type of website like. Okay, that's good. Is this something like, obviously we're not going to do these colors for your website because your website is going to be more with the of colors course, of the restaurant. I, mean, I understand. But you like this, this setup, right? Yes. The, so we're going to have some decisions to make as we go and develop the website. Uh -huh. You know, where to put things, stuff like that. Can you designate one person who is going to be responsible for all decisions regarding this project? Sure. And who would that person be? It'll be me. It'd be you. So you'll be decided. So we can, and you'll be pretty much available so we could call you and if there's something going on that, you know, it shouldn't be like a yeah, two week fine. type of, you know, wait before we hear of an answer if we need something for, you know, for a decision. Yeah. So you'll be able to no decide. Oh, okay, course. great. Okay, very good. So that we could do that. So let me explain to you like a couple of words what the process is going to be like. Basically, we're going to create a mock up of the website, not the real website, just a mock up, like a drawing of the mm -hmm. website and we're gonna show it to you and basically see if you approve the way it's going mm -hmm. and what we'll give you we'll give you three um uh, like three revisions three or oh, three three times that you could update the thing and say you know, you know i want something different a little bit um and after that then you will try to finalize it so are you okay with that you're okay with yeah. that type of setup okay That's great fine. okay you saw the pictures on that website and you really like the fact that there's pictures on there right yeah so pictures that you know usually especially a website like this are very important 
Would you be able to commit to providing the entire menu of the restaurant so we could come and bring a photographer and actually take a picture of every single item in the menu? Would you be okay with doing that? Yeah, as long as still be kosher menu, it's fine. <laughs> still be kosher menu. You'll still be kosher menu, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so very good. So we'll, we'll bring a photographer in and then you'll basically have to cook every single item in the menu and we'll bring it out and the photographer will take a, take sure. a picture of it. Okay. Okay, excellent. Very good. So uh, so this is a kosher restaurant, is that correct? Yes. Kosher restaurant? Black kosher. And so what does that, you know, like, you know, in terms of cooking and in terms of dealing with stuff, is, what does that mean for you? We have a mashpia here. Do you have you some, know, you're basically somebody who's a supervisor. Yeah. Nowadays, people start, you know, making a lot of ingredients with a kosher, you know, logo. Uh -huh. That means we have a lot of choices. So we spoke to a quite a number of customers that you have here and uh, not everybody wanted to be on camera, but everybody loves your food. Um, Thank you. Do, uh, do you like Chinese food yourself? Of course. Do you eat all the Chinese food a lot? Of course. Uh, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you're not Chinese you're not sick people. of it. So you're not sick of it. No, not at all. No, no. So you not eat it every day, even though you see it every day in the restaurant. You're not sick of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. No, not at all. Uh -huh. Okay. You will never get tired of Chinese food. This restaurant is actually pretty cozy. It's it's small, but at the same time, it you know it feels kind of cozy. It's relaxing, right? Is Thank that you. is that kind of a, the the feel you're trying to go for? Yeah. On purpose. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, so now we're ready to leave the restaurant and start designing and coding our website. But before we do, one of the most important rules is don't ever code on an empty stomach. Oh, I, I know you're really anxious to start coding the website, but I'm a little busy, so I'll be right back. We'll do the website after this. Put this in blue first. <laughs> okay, your line was. What's it I called? I don't know why I got into computers. Food tasting seems like a much better job. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one second. <clears throat> like so. Yeah. You do it like this? It's hard to do it this way. <laughs> it's two fingers. Two fingers. Instead of ten fingers. Two fingers instead of ten fingers? Yes. Okay. Just hold it with two fingers. Yeah. Like this? This is very hard. Put the in this finger here. The middle. Put the middle finger in between yeah. those two fingers? Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. And then try to... Uh, and then you have to grab it with like that? Yeah. Exactly. You're good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Messy question. Do you have a fork? <laughs> no. This is much better than a fork. This is much better than yeah. a fork? Can you pick up a rice with a fork? Can, no, can but you? I can do it with a spoon. See, I can pick up rice with a chopstick. You can pick up rice with a chopstick? Let's see it. Wow. That's some skill. Yes, Let's see if I can do it. I'm going to pick up a carrot. It's much, be much bigger. Much than better. Her. Good job. Oh, wow. Look Here at this. Go. Look at this. I'm learning. This is incredible. Okay. Next, I'm going to do the rice. Ready? Uh-huh. Good. Oh, my goodness. Good job. Now, at See? the same time, I have to eat this, right? So it's very yeah. hard to balance and eat at the same time. Eat it. Take some, take some skill. Good job. Mm. Here you go. Tastes, tastes much better from the chopsticks. See? You're a good student. <laughs>